Thank you, President. First of all, I would like to start by thanking the two real fathers of genitus of this idea. The people who first mentioned this to me are Vincent and Emmanuel and Martin Speer, somebody known as Herr and Speer on uh, social media. So those two young Germans came along to me and told me about this idea many months ago. Back then, when we first proposed it, it failed, partly due to opposition from the European Un uh, Commission. These two pro-Europeans refused to give up, and they continue to fight for this idea. Once Mr. Weber picked up on the idea during the last part session, he mentioned this in the State of the Union speech, and I must say I was very surprised. Uh, when I heard Mrs. Bulch mentioning this today, I thought, OK, that's three of us. Let's hope we can get some more support. And I think the debate so far demonstrates that that support is building. I think this is a fantastic idea. I think for a relatively low cost, we can achieve an enormous amount in terms of European uh, uh, Europeans to better understand each other and get to know each other. I've done Israel myself. I went to the UK. I couldn't afford to sleep anywhere except the beach, unfortunately. But that gave me a wonderful opportunity to get to know Europe, and I think young people today should be able to do the same. I would never suggest for a moment that this initiative uh, can replace the, uh, the European Youth Guarantee, Erasmus, Europa Scholar, uh, or other European projects for young people. But I think lots of glossy brochure-style projects, which cost a lot of money, and lots of public relations campaigns run by the Commission could be usefully replaced with ideas such as this. So you have our full support.